Hey guys, I am uh, on a, uh, another mountain bike uh, or a mountain uh, trip on my motorbike here today and I uh, thought I would take you along. I'm already at my destination. I actually got lost on the way here, but I'm going to show you on the way back and I'm going to show you some of the uh, uh, sights, but you can see behind me this place is just uh, pretty, pretty amazing. So I'm going to take you in and show you around. So stick around. I did want to show you guys uh, what I drive, and this is a, a Yamaha Aerox 155cc. Um, I absolutely love the bike, but this is this is what I drive um, when I take these trips. It's perfect for mountains, just big enough. I purposely got this bike because it's got the bigger tires on it, and uh, of course you can't go anywhere without the Spider-Man logo on it. But I like it a lot. Um, put a custom seat on it even put a back pad on it so if I have a passenger they are comfortable um, but I put a lot of extra work into it anyway but you can see uh, we are here at uh, Panapoe Heights and uh, here's the view an amazing view it almost reminds me of the whole like the uh, chocolate hills like if you can look in the background there one heck of a view but uh, we're gonna go up and get something to eat and, and come sit down and uh, just relax but uh, she said I could come out here and, and sit that's what I'm gonna do, just have a, a water. Uh, the next destination, I'll get something to eat because it doesn't look like they have uh, anything to eat. But uh, here's the place, it's just still being constructed. It's not even constructed yet. So here it is, the whole series of uh, tables and you know, just uh, hanging out just over the mountain here and there's the city in the background you can see Cebu City let me zoom it in see the uh, city in the background and they got uh, upstairs they got uh, sitting as well and then down yeah this is all under construction though so I'm gonna go sit down here just relax and check out the view. I was just sitting here hanging out and, and a couple of the guys that work here uh, came in there. They're like, are you a vlogger? And I was like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a vlogger. And they're like, can I get a, a photo with you? So I just did a, a photo with them. And now I think the, uh, the rest of the clan wants to do a photo with me too, but just so friendly. Um, it wouldn't have mattered if I was a vlogger or not. Uh, they were just uh, very friendly. They don't see many foreigners up here and uh, this place Parisma Mountain View in Consolacion it just opened up this month in December actually and um, still under construction but it's it's a nice place it's it's nice he came up and he opened up the uh, umbrella for me you can see but um, yeah I I like coming out to places where there's just not a lot of foreigners you you get a different experience than just going to places where they are used to seeing a lot of foreigners. Um, it's just a different experience. They're they're just very inquisitive. They're almost like uh, small children. You know, they 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 want to like introduce themselves and they want to say hello, even if they don't know much English. Um, I really need it, which reminds me, I really need to improve on my uh, Bisayan. You know, and and that's one thing. I would encourage people is learn greetings. Um, you know, I, I, I like if I go in to order, I know how to say too big boog now, which is like cold water. So you, you learn how to order different foods and it, it just goes a long way. So, but again, this view, man, it's just, just amazing. Just, just love the views here in the Philippines. So anyway, I'm going to finish my water. I'm going to go take a uh, a drive and stop at a few other places. Okay, on to the next destination here. Um, 
I won't be going back that way because that way was construction and a lot of twists and turns and I was actually lost a few times. Um, GPS was kind of confusing on which road to go on, but uh, we'll go the other way this time. Oh, I'm, I'm locked in. Oh. Okay. All right, so oh, this dog looks dead. Nope, not dead, alive. Okay, just laying in the middle of the road. I'm gonna have to stop here and uh, put on my GPS because I don't know where I'm going. Okay, here we go. Good thing I had two phones on me because I couldn't pick up the GPS on the other one. It could be because maybe I ran out of data. 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 Well, here's a place called City Lights. place city lights looks pretty nice uh, do they have a uh, like coffee and stuff Sky view, oh boy, heights. Oh wow, nice view. It's nice. Look at this view. And in the background we got girls uh TikToking. <laughs> now I've been up here before and I went to a place called Nanda Cafe and uh, they had a good breakfast, so I'm probably gonna head back there just to have breakfast. Um, or maybe even a hamburger. I think they had hamburgers there. I think I might try a hamburger. But God, I love the views up here and just the, the beauty. I mean, look at this. Really love it. Just me to go right. Well, you know what? I'm going to go the other way because I've never been this way. So, that way to city lights. But what is up here? Oof. I'm just interested in seeing what uh, else is up here. Very residential. Yeah, I'm supposed to go the other way to the coffee shop, but um, I'd like to explore a little bit. And if you go to Consolacion and you go up in the mountains here, I mean, there are twists and turns all day. 
very easy to get lost. Thankfully, uh, the GPS is working well still. It, uh, it doesn't know where to tell me to go right now because I, I took a wrong turn, but it doesn't know how to re reroute me. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's, we'll go a little ways and see what's, see what's down here. Oh, it finally rerouted me. It's got me going some crazy way. Oh, here we got uh, taking, uh, taking a shower. Yeah. <laughs> taking a bath in the middle of the street, which is just funny, which is completely normal up here in the mountains and in the provinces. That's completely normal. They um, wear their full clothing and take a shower. And the roads up here actually aren't bad at all. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna go super far, but as long as the road is good, I'll, we'll go a little while. This is why I always, before any kind of mountain track, I fill up the gas sink um, because there's definitely there's definitely no gas up here. You're not going to find it. You gotta be careful too. If you ever get a flat tire, you're pretty you're pretty screwed too. It's always a little bit of a gamble, but as long as the roads are good, you're you're usually okay. And uh, up here. Um, hey, Mr. Cow, how are you? Up here, you don't, um, you, most of the people don't wear helmets. Now, I always wear a helmet um, because I know if, you, if I took a spill and I cracked my noggin, I, I want to have a helmet on. But uh, a lot of Filipinos, they just don't do it. And they wear their slippers, you know, like flip flops. It's dangerous. And you, need, you see kids driving kids, which always cracks me up, which is funny. Um, my last girlfriend, her little sister, who was like 12 or 13, could drive, would drive a motorbike and she would drive like kids on there too. But I mean, she, they learn how to drive at a very early age in the Philippines here. Always got to be careful going around corners and stuff because there's dogs in the streets here. In 200 it's, meters, turn left. They just lay in the middle of the road. Okay, it wants me to make a left up here, and I think what I'm going to do is just turn around because I don't want to get too lost up here. So I'm just going to probably... I mean, I could go three kilometers this way. Ah, screw it. We're going to go this way. We're going to go this direction. Why not? We'll take the long route. Continue for 800 meters. Now, lately, it's been... Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen to the road here in a minute here. We may turn around. Um... But lately here, the weather has been really windy. And uh, so I've been kind of stuck at home because I really didn't want to do a mountain drive while I was um, on a motorbike with it being really windy. So, this is a big smile on her face. Like I, I'm sure they don't really see foreigners up here too much. Extremely rare. Okay, now I think I took a wrong turn, I think. I don't know. Oh no, I guess I'm still going the right way. I'm 
very surprised that the roads are actually decent up here. Usually when you get up into these provinces like this, you just have horrible, horrible roads. At least when I was in Negros, the roads were horrible when you'd get up into the provinces, but uh, here it's not so bad. But Ging and I had been on some road trips that were just horrible with the, the roads. Okay, roads are still good. You don't see a lot of people out here. Watch out there, dog. Here's the shop left. Okay, now I'm gonna be turning left again here. I'm really, if it wasn't for GPS, I would probably be stuck in the mountains forever because I've done so many twists and turns, I really would have no, I would have no idea of how to get back home. Um, that's another thing, make sure you have data. Don't run out of data. And also download your map too sometimes. Um, okay. It's getting pretty thick up here. We got some pretty dense jungle area up here. It's also good to have a dependable bike. You know, I had bought that Chinese bike when I was living in Dumaguete, and that was a big mistake. It was called the Rusi. And I don't recommend it. You know, at first I was pretty happy with it, but then it really was kind of a piece of crap. Uh-oh. GPS has me lost. Um, so I'm gonna turn around because I don't wanna get lost. So I'm gonna go back the other direction. I don't know what happened, I, what turn I missed. Apparently it's telling me right here I should be turning left. And there's obviously, there's no road here. There's a little path right there, but people doing laundry by the, by the river. Yeah, it had me going on some phantom road that didn't exist, so I'm turning back around. Um, dogs and roosters and chickens. Oh, there's the road. And I'm not going down that dirt road. GPS is rerouting me again. It's a sorry, sorry store. I'm actually quite hungry. I didn't eat breakfast and it's uh, 11, 11 a.m. right now. I took off a couple hours ago. I took off at nine o'clock, so I've been driving for about two hours. Um, I want to eat like a hamburger at that place. And then I will go back home because it looks like it could rain. And you don't want to be caught up in the mountains here when it's raining. Oh, shit. Which way do I go? Turn left. Let's see. I don't know if I'm going the right direction or not. I think I'm going the wrong direction. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going the wrong direction again. All right, so. Turn around. 
once again. What's going on with this GPS? Okay, I think I'm back on track. Okay, I recognize the cow. I passed that cow earlier. So I believe I'm heading the right direction. That's how you tell in the Philippines. You recognize a cow or a dog or a... Uh... <laughs> mm. It's nothing you gotta be careful, like big rocks on the road and stuff. smells up here. I don't know what the smell is. It smells like human waste. Turn left. Okay, it says I'm about five minutes away. Here, there, taking a, taking a shower. That was the guy I took a picture with, uh, him and his, I don't know, sister or something taking a shower. <laughs> Funny. Okay, here's the Nanda Cafe. Like I said, I was here last time and, and uh, I showed you guys this place, but I'm gonna go and eat lunch here. I heard they have a decent hamburger. Oh, it's closed. Unbelievable, it's closed. Well, that sucks. I guess we'll go to the other restaurant. Closed? Uh, thank you. <laughs> oh, it's closed. What a bummer. I could go back up and I could go to a different one. Um, let's see, there's another one down here and I will, I will see if that's open, but I'm hungry now. Damn, I was really looking forward to the Nanda Cafe. And they're closed. I don't know if it's because there's just no customers, but uh, I may go back up and uh, go to that other place again. This is this way to the chapel. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna look. Um, I just want to take a peek. Oh, these are the Stations of the Cross. So if you're Catholic, you know what I'm talking about. Um, during Holy Week, you go to the Stations of the Cross. Um, so I'm just kind of curious. Oh, look, this is like the Roman, the Roman soldiers. Third station, Jesus falls first time. Okay. So what is this? This opens at 8 a.m., closes at 5. And so, Stations of the Cross, here's the first one. Uh, open? Yeah. It's open? Okay. This is the first station. Hey. 
interesting. Okay. Uh, I was just uh, curious about uh, what's going on here. But it looks like the uh, Stations of the Cross. I, I guess I can... Uh, It looks kind of rainy, but I don't know if I will go in because I don't really want to vlog in a holy place. That's not really usually what I do, just to be respectful. And this place doesn't look open. A lot of these places are closed. And last time I was here, these places were open, you know, but now they're all closed. I don't know why. No customers, I guess. Or maybe they just open on the weekends or something. I don't know. If not, I will go back up and I will go to the other place. And this place too, closed. Divine view, closed. Everything's closed. I don't know why. So I'm going to go back to the other place and get some food because I'm hungry. It's starting to rain. Is this place open? It is open. Just don't see any people here. Ayo. Ma ayon buntag. We have uh, barbecue. Me. Barbecue. Bar you have a uh, chicken wing. Chicken wing. Pila. Uh, duha. And, um, rice. Rice, rice, yeah. One cup and two big. Bugna, bug, bugna, pila. Okay, just keep, I'll, I'll be here. Oh, okay, so I'm not. Okay, so this place is called City Lights. Yeah, it's starting to rain here, but um, I guess I'll be eating lunch here. I got uh, barbecue chicken wings rice and uh, a bottle of water and um, I'll just enjoy the view I'll wait for the rain to stop and head on home but yeah a lot of places I went to today were closed up but this place city lights is open and uh, great views you know I'll flip the camera around and show you guys so. So, I mean, this whole meal, two chicken wings, uh, rice, and a bottle of water came out to 115 pesos, which is uh, $2. Very cheap. <laughs> Where could you eat anywhere in the U.S. get two chicken wings, rice, and, and a bottle of water? Um, you can hardly go into a 7-Eleven and buy a bottle of water for $2. So, anyway, I'm going to enjoy... Um, 
I will end the video right at this point, but uh, for those of you who are YouTube members, I'm going to continue the video and show you the drive back and do some talking. Um, just some kind of behind the scenes stuff that I don't show anybody else. So, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.